Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 edition. Page 276. Vasculitis affecting the large vessels. Name the two vasculitis that affect large vessels. The two vasculitis that affects large vessels includes temporal giant cell arteritis as well as Takayashu's arteritis. What group of patients are commonly affected with temporal giant cell arteritis? The group of patients that are most commonly affected with temporal giant cell arteritis includes elderly female. What would be the primary complaint of a patient suffering from temporal giant cell arteritis? Primary complaint would be unilateral headache that would happen due to temporal artery involvement as well as jaw claudications. What is one major complication that can arise from patients suffering from temporal giant cell arteritis? A major complication that can arise is irreversible blindness due to ophthalmic artery occlusion. What is another disease that's associated with temporal giant cell arteritis? Another disease associated with temporal giant cell arteritis is polymyalgia rheumatica. What are some of the main arteries that are affected with temporal giant cell arteritis? The most common arteries that are involved here are branches of the carotid artery. What type of inflammation would be caused by temporal giant cell arteritis? There would be focal granulomatous inflammation. What would happen to the erythrocyte sedimentation rate in temporal giant cell arteritis? The erythrocyte sedimentation rate would increase. What is the treatment for temporal giant cell arteritis? The treatment for this is high dose corticosteroids. What group of patients are primarily affected with Takayashu's arteritis? The group of patients that are affected with Takayashu's arteritis are Asian females under the age of 40 years old. What are some of the signs and symptoms of Takayashu's arteritis? Some of the signs and symptoms include fever, night sweats, arthritis, myalgias, skin nodules, ocular disturbances, and there will also be weak upper extremity pulses, and that's why this disease is known as the pulseless disease. What are some of the pathological signs of Takayashu's arteritis? Some of the pathological signs include granulomatous thickening of the aortic arch, as well as the proximal great vessels. What would happen to the erythrocyte sedimentation rate in Takayashu's arteritis? The erythrocyte sedimentation rate increases in Takayashu's arteritis. What is a treatment for Takayashu's arteritis? The treatment for Takayashu's is to treat it with corticosteroids. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.